All right, there you go. Look at that. Looks messy, but it's so good, guys. Messy food's always the best food. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Simon Food Surfer here. Today, guys, we got a pretty fun video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be making walking tacos. If you don't know what that is, stay tuned. So this recipe is uh, pretty fun to make and it's super delicious if you guys have kids or if you're going on a picnic. It's pretty fun to make, um, super affordable. And if you guys celebrate like Taco Tuesdays, this is pretty fun to make too on Taco Tuesdays. Yeah, we're heading to the store right now, but before we, before we head out, check out Peep the Drip. Rest in peace to the big homie, Nipsey Hustle. <clears throat> But yeah, we're gonna head to the store right now and we're gonna grab the ingredients and show you guys what we need. All right guys, let's go. All right, we just got back from the grocery store. Here's our list of ingredients. We got our Frito-Lay Doritos, our Cool Ranch, and our Nacho Cheese. We're gonna need three to four Roma tomatoes, one onion, a ball of lettuce. We're gonna need some ground beef, at least two pounds of ground beef, a tub of sour cream. We got a can of black sliced olives here, a tub of guacamole, store-bought or homemade, whatever you prefer, jalapenos, We get, and then we have here our bag of shredded cheese, Mexican style blended cheese, and a bush of cilantro. So the first thing you want to do is you want to wash all of your vegetables, make sure they're nice and clean, and then we're going to get everything up on the chopping board. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do with your vegetables, you want to chop everything up. Alright, ready? Don't blink. Ha, <laughs> got him. No, I'm just kidding, guys. All right, ready? For the other side. Don't blink. Three, two, one. All right, there you guys go. Everything's chopped up, and then we're going to move on to cooking the meat. Let's go. All right, guys, now we're going to start cooking the ground beef. So right here, I got 7327. You can use 8020 or 9010, whatever you prefer. If, if the fat content is too high, just remember to render the fat out. But yeah, let's get ready. Go. All right, guys, so now that our meat's browning, it's looking good. Make sure you guys cook it thoroughly. Make sure there's no pink meat or red meat in there. And right now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some onions. Just a little bit, a little bit of grilled onions in there. And then I'm gonna start seasoning. All right, so here's what we're using for seasoning. Teaspoon, half teaspoon cayenne. We're gonna go tablespoon paprika. Tablespoon chili powder. And you want to lightly season it because the chips are already uh, salty. Some black pepper, about a tablespoon of black pepper, and then just a little bit of adobo seasoning, and some garlic powder. There we go. And then just make sure you cook everything thoroughly. And we're almost ready to start getting our tacos together. All right, so our meat is well seasoned and cooked. Now I'm just gonna strain some of the fat out of this. Oh yeah like this just go right back in your pan yeah so now our meats ready and we're gonna start putting our tacos together let's go that's right. All right guys so this is where the magic happens we got here our Doritos those are gonna be our tortilla chips we got our ground beef very well seasoned onions lettuce tomatoes we got our cilantro avocados jalapenos black olives sour cream guacamole and then we got our Mexican style cheese all right guys, let's put it all together and show you guys what the walking taco is. So the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna cut your chip bag down the middle. If you have scissors, it's a lot easier with scissors, but I'm just gonna show you guys my skill set. We got a knife here. This is what you're gonna use for your tortilla chip, all right? First things first, we'll go ahead, we're gonna throw our meat in there. Spread it nice and evenly. Put as much as you want in there or as little as you want. And then while the meat is still hot, we're gonna go ahead and put a layer of cheese on there. Put some more cheese if you want, a little cheese. If you're on a diet, I wouldn't consider making this. Then we're gonna sprinkle our onions. Go ahead, put some lettuce. Sprinkle some tomatoes, onions, lettuce, tomatoes. We got some cilantro. I like cilantro. If you guys like it spicy, add some jalapenos. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put jalapenos in this one. And then we got some avocados. And then we got some black olives right here. Boom, look at that thing, man. See, that thing's looking good already, son. And then I'm gonna add, got some guacamole in there. And then, boom, throw some sour cream right on top. Look at that. See that? That's the walking taco right there. So this recipe is really fun if you guys got kids, you know? But yeah, so then you just take a spoon, you're gonna eat it with a spoon. 
Now, I'm gonna show you guys this. So we're gonna say that's the first layer. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a second layer of chips on top. Gonna go ahead and add our second layer of meat. So two story walking taco. Huh? If, if I'm the first one who's ever made that. Two story walking taco, that's a thing. Get tomatoes. We'll go ahead and throw some lettuce on top. And now we're gonna go ahead and dig in. Yeah, so check that out. So that's what your average bite's gonna look like. All our seasoning, we got our ground beef, black olives, guacamole, avocado, sour cream, sitting on top of the chip. All right, bon appetit. Sheesh. <laughs> All right, guys, so let me know what you guys think of the recipe. If you guys like the content, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Uh, try the recipe out and then, you know, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'm gonna continue to keep uploading some more videos and let me know what you guys wanna see. But yeah, um, Salmon Food Surfer, peace and love, baby. Till next time, I'm out.